this band has come a long way from their one of six days to now being called Never Forsaken. They recently just won a rock band of the year and the best group overall of the year for local uh, tri-state area. So you know that they're amazing just on the fact that they won the award. But on top of the fact that they have great musicianship and they have great lyrics and they have a passion for Christ, they just love you guys so much, and that's what their heart is all about. So if you want to talk to them afterwards, they're super approachable, so don't feel like they're strangers. They want to talk to you. They want to interact with you. Uh, but they have a new CD that's called The Journey So Far, which you can also purchase on all um, outlets in terms of the musical scene, iTunes, and all that other good stuff. So definitely check it out. Uh, but it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a band that I've come to love very, very much. And... Even more now that they've added to Christabel Breeding, please give it up for Never Forsaken. Thanks, Tim. We're so happy to be here today. Uh, we're Never Forsaken. We're going to be playing some music, so here we go. to wake up because there's a dying world out there man and they need the message of the gospel it's time for you and me to be soldiers of the cross it's time for you and I to be revolutionaries And it's coming soon when the voice of the Christian will be extinguished if we don't stand up as believers. Man, this is life or death. That's how important the message of the gospel is. That's how important Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Choose you this day who you're going to serve. Think about that, man. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. 
never gonna look behind I'm gonna get it right this time Yeah I played it all my life Lord, steady my soul Alright I've made up my mind And I'm ready to go Braden, and uh, I'm the new lead singer of Never Forsaken. Um, this is so much fun. I love playing at colleges. I graduated last year from college, so uh, I'm not that far away. I remember finals, not fun at all. So how many of you are done with your finals? How many of you still have some left? Okay, props to you guys. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Amen? Uh, for the next song, uh, Jim's just going to say a couple words. Good afternoon, CCC. Just want to share something quickly with you guys before we play this next song. It's pretty special for us. Where to start? You know, God has done amazing things in every one of our lives up here. And in fact, in our entire ministry, he has. So we like to share that before we play this next song because it's special. It's an encouraging song that... Let you realize that God's on a throne 24-7. He never sleeps. And there's nothing that you're going through, no matter how big or small it is, that he cannot handle for you. We put our chains on to show the power of God to break chains in your lives. And each person up here on the stage or the concrete today has had God move in their life several different ways. But they want to share something with you so that you can help to get to know them a little bit better. So we're not just a band to you guys. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. So my wife over here on base is Lois. God enabled Lois to break her chains of regretfulness over her past. The decisions she made in her life. 
Our drummer is Doug. He's from Pennsylvania slash Tennessee. His chains were broken from holding grudges against people. Carlos Sears on acoustic guitar was also freed from regretfulness. Our singer is Christabel. She's going to share more of her personal testimony with you, but the change that she wished to share with you guys that, she, that God had broke for her was from fear. And mine were from a pretty nasty drinking habit and alcohol. That I picked up while I was in college. So, um, God enabled me to stop drinking, but he also put a new calling on my life and told me that he needed me to share my gifts and talents for the kingdom, for his glory, not for my own. So I stopped playing music at bars and clubs, and I decided to start playing Christian music. And here we are, four and a half years later, we're touring the country on God's grace alone. I don't know how we do it, on God's grace alone. So we thank Linda and the Fellowship Club for having us here today. It's been a, it's been a beautiful day. and. While we play this next song, I want you to take whatever problem you're dealing with today, and if you tell me you don't have a, a problem, then I don't think you're telling the truth. So whatever you're dealing with today, however big or small it is, we want you to lift it up and give it to the Lord today and watch Him break your chains for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh 
bit about my story. Um, Today's my first time ever at Cumberland County College, and I love it. I love the spirit. I love this fellowship club that brought us out. It's so awesome. So thanks for having us here. Um, Touring the country, uh, Never Forsaken has covered over 20 states across the country. We're nationally touring, and uh, I started touring with them in February, and something that I've seen, and even before that when I was doing my solo career, is that I'll go to a show, and I'll be up here, and I'll be singing, and look out. And I see people, and I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know your stories, and I'm not going to assume that I do because I don't, just like you don't know me. Um, and I, each one of us has something, a story that you cannot see from the outside. So I see beautiful girls over there, and I don't know. I don't know your story. Yeah, I see you. Love your outfit. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know your story. And um, with me, seems true. Uh, eight years ago, I had a really serious brain injury, a traumatic brain injury, and um, I was not supposed to recover. The doctors told my parents I'd never graduate high school, never be able to go to college, and um, I had to relearn how to get myself dressed and all simple things like that, and so it does not make medical sense for me to be standing here today, but I stand before you today a college graduate. Thank you. I graduated last year, and that's, I share that to show you what the Lord can do. Thank you. If you have anything in your life that somebody's told you is hopeless, if you have anything in your life that somebody's told you you're never going to make it, even if it's a doctor that knows a lot of stuff, trust me, God knows better. So if anyone in your life is telling you that you can't do something or anything like that, I would encourage you to look to the Word of God before you believe anything anyone tells you because there are a lot of lies and a lot of liars in this world. And God is the way, the truth, and the life. And so that was to share a little bit um, and if you want to talk to me afterward, I'd love to talk to you. But this next song I wrote, it's called More to Me. And it's about how the struggles and the hard days and those days when you feel like you just want to give up, they're part of your story and God is going to use that. The song's called More to Me. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
front line, I'm still on the journey. We are all on a journey. And I firmly believe that if you have a beat in your heart, if you have breath in your lungs, God is not done with you. You may sometimes feel like your life is over, but trust me, you're still on a journey. And he has a plan. This next song is a cover. It's a worship song called Hosanna. And we love to sing it because we love to praise God for what he's done in our life. God has healed me from a brain injury, and I praise him. He's delivered us from all these things we share with you about, and that's why we praise God. It's what we were created to do. So if you know the lyrics, please sing along and praise him with us today. Hosanna, Hosanna in the house. 
college campus and worship our Lord and talk about Jesus. It's the only truth in this world, I'll tell you that. Uh, this next song is called Take My Cross. And it's a new worship song. It'll be new to you. It's new to us. Um, I wrote it back in 2012, actually. Um, and God told me not to put it on my CD that I released in 2013. I was like, okay. And now he's been using it all over the country. Um, this song is based out of Luke 9, which says, Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Jesus. And something I've learned is that as we take up our cross, you know, a cross, it's like a weapon of destruction, you know? It's like the crucifixion. It's, it's for meant for criminals. But as we take up our cross, we learn that Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. As we walk through our suffering, as we walk through our pain, as we give it to the Lord, we find joy, we find peace, we find truth, we find hope. And it's only found in Jesus, his death and his resurrection. And so that's why we sing this. That's why we're here today. That's why we live. And you have promised to be a That comes straight from Psalm 28.7. So I would love for you to sing this along with me if you can. Uh, it just repeats over and over again. All right, here's how it goes. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In you my heart trusts and I am healed. Saved a wretch like me. 
Yes. <laughs> 